Well, welcome to part two of Seven Days to Die Solo. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. A like and a subscribe will be great. It's the first time doing it, but it's just for enjoyment for everybody. Okay, so continue on the desert because I haven't got a cooking pot. Let's search this trunk. Ah, jar of honey and some grain alcohol. That's great. I think I need some more wood. I think I'll chop down this tree. Yeah, it takes a while, but when my axe is upgraded a bit more, I'll be able to uh, chop them down a lot quicker. Which, that's the plan. I wonder what that building is to the left there. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sure I can hear a zombie. Yeah. Um. I can hear some jumping. It must be just me. Anyway, we'll chop down this tree. You can never have enough wood. What comes in handy? Yep, stamina's going down again really quick. Um, a quick tip, if you crouch, your stamina goes up quicker. Watch, see that? Your stamina goes up a lot quicker than when you're standing up. Just let it go up a bit first. And continue chopping. Yeah, I can hear some... That's definitely not me, I can hear a zombie. Right. Let's chop down this tree. I'm gonna need a new axe just now anyway. Okay, you hear that jumping? Yeah, that's definitely a zombie kicking around somewhere. Where's he at? Ah. Yep. Definitely a zombie there. I think we're gonna have to go do some zombie killing here. <sighs> Let's have a look. Another another stone axe. I'll chop down this tree and we'll have a bit of a butcher's, I think. You see, I still haven't got a cooking pot. So we're still gonna have to make our way to the desert. Yucca plants is the way to go. Whoa, right beside us. I'm glad they don't kill you when they fall. Search the cars. Oh yeah, I can hear. Oh, gas! I'll take that. Let's have a look. I'm gonna sneak around here. Where's he at? Oh, yep, he's definitely around here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Let's have a look. Let's make a bow because I haven't got one yet. Yep. Okay. Right. Let's put this bow on. He's getting closer. Race. Keep a hold of B and move the analog stick to pick the arrows you want to use. Yeah, oh yeah, still got it. Yeah. He's still there. What? What? What's that? Oh bloody hell! Right next to us. Oh, another zombie. Oh, it's one of them big fellas. Now these are really strong. I spoke about it in my previous video. These zombies cover the snow biome, and they're really tough. Unless you've got lots of arrows, you wouldn't want to go hand to hand with one, even with a club, unless it's a spike club. It'll take a lot of health off you when they hit you. Oh, I've gotten him down. Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's not dead. Oh, nah, I'll tell you what. See you later. That's sort of mood. Has he got out? Yeah, he's got nothing. Okay, let's have a look at who's making this racket over here, eh? I'm going to harvest the meat, or should I say, rotten flesh, and fat off this zombie. The animal fat you get off a zombie you can use for tallow, makes you can turn it into candles, or torches. Good stuff. Uh, the bones you can make shaves out of, and the rotten flesh you use as fertilizer. I'll talk about that in a later video. Oh yes, I can see them in the window there. Let's have a look. Oh, is it one, two, three? I don't know how many's in there. Oh, oh yes. I don't even know what I'm opening here. Oh, here we go. Oh, how many's there? One, two, I can see two. Oh, there. Oh, take that. And that. Haha. <laughs> Got an out. Another one fire there. 
Say that. Oh my god. Oh. Come on. Take it. Come on, take it. I keep forgetting it's not cold, you know. Hello, nursey. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're still standing. Yeah. Take a hammer. Ah, oh, you're dead. No, aren't you? Oh, all that for a sham with a sandwich. You don't want to eat them. They give you food poisoning, dysteria, diarrhea for hours. And the only way to cure it is goldenrod tea. I mean, if you've got no choice to eat one, eat one. But I wouldn't advise it. Is that a zombie? Oh, looks like we've left one. Come here. Oh, that's the door. Well, it looks like we'll have to take care of him. Right, there we go. I've got a box there. Oh, got some stuff here. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, paper for the blunderbuss. That'll come in handy. Right, let's have a look. Shopping trolley. I'll have to remember to come back for these. I've got mechanical parts in the trolleys. You can't go wrong without mechanical parts, I tell you. Oh, where's that zombie? I can hear him. Ah, there he is. I'm going to have to take care of him. Right, where can I... I'm going to hang my torch up, I think. Where can I put it? Um, ah, I'll put it on the unit there. Okay. Come here, zombie. Now, these ones are notorious for breaking your legs. You want to just go in, hit it with a club, or with your shiv, and then back out straight away. But don't take many hits, but if they hit you, you can break your legs, which means you have to craft a splint. Oh, nice. Got some skill points. But I'll have them later. Okay, I'll pick up my torch. I must remember to come back to this shop later. Continue my journey to the desert. Oh, what have I got here? Right, so put my torch back on. Anything in there good? Let's have a look. Right. Hey, let's see what's in here. Okay, gun parts. Well, we're in a shotgun messiah. Uh, send that. Doesn't sound good when you hear the zombies coming. Not when you're not ready for it. Ah, brass. Good thing to keep a hold of. You turn them into bullet casings in your forge. Feathers. Craft them as I go. Craft them as I go. At least that way I know I'm not going to run out. But I must keep an eye on my bow health. That goes too low, we're knackered. Get some more stone. Mm hmm. Um, chuck that shamway sandwich away. That's right. Won't get no stone there, eh? just iron. Okay, let's have a look. Get some stone and we'll continue our journey towards the desert. Well, at least we've killed a few zombies and got some XP there. That, that's always a good thing. The zombies give you XP mainly in this game. However, if you do the challenges on the right hand side, you do re retrieve XP from them as well. Um, I'm just going to mess with the controls there, best not. Let's have a look here. Um, yeah, make some more arrows. Anyway, I hope you're all enjoying the videos I'm making. It's just a playthrough, solo. Any tips, I'll give them on my journey. And any feedback is greatly appreciated. Any design ideas, anything you want us to make, just add it in the comments section. I better build another axe. You can lose yourself for hours in this game. I'm going to try and upload a video every, every day. A couple of videos at least. And I'll see how far we go. Nice. Right then, away we go. Over the hills and far away. You know what comes next, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we're not watching Teletubbies though. Okay, uh, I've got no room for nothing. Craft them feathers. Right, straight away, craft them. And arrows, there we go. So, stay tuned for part three, people.